let's just let's just hear what he has to say. If you build a program and it's really used a lot, you're going to want to modify it at some point. And the real mm -hmm. world is you're not going to go back and start from scratch and redo everything. You're going to start patching it. And mm -hmm. we've seen that happen. And as it goes on, th that program gets harder and harder to deal with, harder and harder to modify. Eventually, you know, either the code is going to be thrown away or it's going to be written, written from scratch. So, you know, you start patching things, you know, it gets sloppy. But if you don't do this design right from the beginning, then every piece of the code you write is a patch and you start out from day one with a mess. Mm. And I love like, this quote of you know, Eisenhower who said, no battle was ever won according to plan, but no battle was ever won without one. If you build a program and it's really used a lot, you're going to want to modify it at some point. And the real mm. world is... You're not going to go back and start... Oh, it started over again. Wow, that was so perfectly contiguous that I actually just kept on t just kept on just going through... The program. Kept, I could have almost really listened to it for another, like, a little while there. Um, I really like this take a whole bunch. Welcome to Costco. Let's see, alert again. I love you. Serious. So bad at this. Hold on, I'll say thank you in a second. I really, I really, 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 really like this take a whole bunch, and the reason why is that I think there's a lot of truth, which is I'm going to take a different kind of maybe path than this guy was taking right here, this Leslie guy, uh, or what he was trying to mean. Maybe we're missing what he's trying to mean, but effectively every program falls into exactly what he is saying, and that it eventually becomes a patch-only upgrade features, all this, is you took something, no matter how well it was initially designed— you just keep on adding and adding and adding and adding, and it does cause an entire, like, you know, it, it just eventually the program becomes super hard to develop against. And I don't think there exists anything in which you can just forever add features and forever have a well-designed program. I think there just there comes a point, no matter what, that it just falls apart because the initial assumptions from day one just aren't there on day two, three, and four, and so on. And so I just, I love this take because I think that often, and I think this is kind of the problem. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm calling out JavaScript, though I'm, I'm positive it exists elsewhere. I think JavaScript just has this unique ability to continuously abstract. So it just has the ability to really keep going and just keep on getting uh, more and more abstract to solve or change problems, change kind of the space of the problems. And so JavaScript, like, what I see is just like a continuous abstraction to try to prevent this problem from happening. Every single project you will ever take on will eventually fall apart and become harder and harder to write features for. It is never like I've never been on something in my in my entire time in the web in the web professional world that doesn't that doesn't fall apart and needs to be like vastly reconsidered. And so it's just that JavaScript allows for the fastest, most expressive way that I know of to abstract a problem. And so, you ever tried React? I wrote React professionally for two years. Um, but, I don't know, it's just something to really think about, which is, is the pursuit of continuous abstraction to make the theoretical problem of software falling apart always a good idea? Like, can you always constantly try to find this, this place that exists in which something actually doesn't have any flaws that you can continuously keep on going? Or does it eventually always fall apart? Now, there are some, there are a few things that aren't that way. And I know you can disagree with it because there is always something that, that breaks this rule, right? The Linux kernel, I'm sure, breaks this rule. But there's also bugs that have existed in the Linux kernel that have been known about for 20 plus years. And that, like, that, that's all there is to it, right? They just exist forever because no one can really fix it. And so it's like, is, is that a problem? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a problem. Is that just like the the rea the reality of what we live in? Yeah. And I think that if you think that there's some framework, something out there that is going to make this problem go away or somehow make it uh, better, I think you're just deluding yourself into building something that eventually will happen no matter what. And the nice part is a good framework will make that feeling not happen as fast, right? That's all it is. A good framework just simply prevents that feeling from happening sooner. A bad one just makes it happen quicker. And I think it's all, in the end, it's all going to suck, no matter what you do. Welcome to Software Engineering. I hope you like David Goggins, because you're going to be doing self-punishment for the next 30 years, and it's fantastic. It somehow feels good. It's kind of like running a marathon, except for when you're done running a marathon, we hand you another marathon. Who's going to carry the tickets? Who's going to close the tickets? Who's going to close?